Geek Citadel. Yeah! Yes? What the hell happened in that bathroom? That kind of mess usually requires you to have thumbs. Crafty dogs, I tell you. You think their short legs would hinder them? The, the ceiling, the sinks, the toilets, the vents. Shh, you'll wake up Briar Rose over there. I, I won't forget this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, a client. Welcome to Valhalla. What can I? Big gut punch. Fast. All right. Big gut punch. What's a big gut punch? I guess it's a manly drink. Oh, he want a big version of it. A gut punch is five Bronson. And one Flanger side. He said a big gut punch. I thought it was just like double. Oh no. Big gut punch is five. you make big drinks maybe I should have paid attention <laughs> jeez uh, it's got to be aged ah. man this is a real drink I thought that karma train does not. Is that a big one? I don't think that's a big gut punch, though. So. How the hell you make a big gut punch? Stop. Jeez. I have no idea how to make big drinks. Here. Hmm. You can actually do it then. Hmm. This crack house is a bar. Hellhole, crack house. It smells like dog urine and soap. How the hell do you expect someone to feel comfortable in here? I'm surprised you decided to come into our little crack house at all, mister. What the hell do you care? The payment registry says, Sorry for the question then, Mr. Ingram McDougal. Sorry about the smell. We're working on fixing it. There was an incident over the weekend. But it's Tuesday. Please, let me know what I can do to make your experience more pleasant. Regardless, if I pay you, will you come with me to a motel for a couple of hours? No. That I have no use for you beyond giving me drinks. Such a pleasant clientele tonight. May I ask why you decided to come to our bar then? You guys don't have a bouncer? You guys sound like you need one. It's terrible people. Somebody recommended this place to me, and I have absolutely no idea why she likes it. She says she's a regular here and all. I'm starting to doubt her taste. A regular? Can I ask who? No. I can see one thing. Whoever picks the music at least has decent taste. Hey, Jill. Where did you put the dish soap? Gil's run out. 
Below the sink where it's always been. Right. Oh, a customer. Good evening, sir. Hope you enjoy your stay at Valhalla. So, any other feedback you want to provide is that to the establishment? Provide the establishment so we can enhance your customer experience? No. Nothing. That's an interesting change of heart. I can't afford to slander this place knowing she's here. You know my boss? I don't know her, but I know who she is. Dana Zane, the Red Comet. The woman who fended off mall riders all by herself, knocking them cold one by one. Knocking them out cold one by one. That's an achievement in a title I've never heard before. I know boss did quite a few things before opening the bar, but that sounds... Would you happen to know how she got her mechanical arm? I heard a couple of stories, but they sound too fantastical to be true. You've had an interesting change of attitude. I saw that woman take out arm riders with her bare hands. Once you see something like that, it's hard to not keep your mouth shut in front of them. Interesting. You can relax though, I've only seen her deal with clients personally about two or three times. One involved classified weaponry, the other one a pickup artist, and the latest had an alpaca. An alpaca? Not really an alpaca, but there's this woman that owns a textile company. She's got quite she got quite drunk and started screaming she was a she was an alpaca. She started spitting on everything afterwards. My boss had to show her the exit. I'd rather not remember that night, so let's leave it at that. Can I get you anything else? Give me a power driver, please. Please? That's what I haven't heard today. Coming right up. I honestly feel like I'm... He wants a power driver? I honestly feel like I'm suplexing him, bro. All right. Let's buy him a power driver. Power driver is... Three bronze Sam. Three flanger run. And he likes strong drinks. All right. Let's mix. Wait. It doesn't, oh, it just mixed, okay. There you go, player. Here. Hmm, it's fine, I guess. Hey, lady, have you ever faked an orgasm? What? <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I think I heard wrong. I asked if you ever faked an orgasm. That's a question I'm not gonna answer. I'll take that as a yes. I was just thinking about how good a lie can be. I mean, even the most sincere people lie once in a while. Lies can buy you time, lies can make you happy. Reality will come crashing through the door eventually, but for that moment, the lie can give meaning to you. I say lies are like your porn stash. You know they exist, but you shouldn't acknowledge them. Does that mean you've really faked the orgasm? Because you look like you have a lot of experience. Still, that's quite the random thought to just suddenly have. Are you perhaps lying about something right now? Not really. I was just thinking about people making polite comments about this crack house. <sighs> of course you were. Hey, I'm gonna need another drink here. Already? Don't you think you're drinking a bit quickly? That's my problem, not yours. Give me a fringe weaver. Alright. Let's give him a fringe weaver. One out of, that's a lot of booze, bro. <laughs> this dude is about to be a crunk. I don't know how much I put in. Let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I got the blips right here. I'm stupid. <laughs> ah, all right, aged and mixed. Let's hit it. Try not to drink it too fast. That's up to me. Hey lady, have you ever felt empty? Empty how? Like hungry? No, I mean empty, like there's a part of you missing. Can't say I particularly have. I just feel there's this part of myself that lacks something. An urge to get or do something that I just can't satisfy. Have you tried taking up a hobby? It might not solve your problems, but it might keep you busy enough to avoid thinking about it. Any suggestions? Any suggestions? Well, collecting stuff, reading, bungee jumping, combat, sports, exercising. Sounds a lot cheaper than the alternative. 
which is bitches and alcohol. I tried sex tourism once. It was like a bloody Russian roulette of STDs, so I left med midway through. I once burned my Christmas bonus hiring three women for an orgy. Porn is more amusing and way cheaper. I've also hired a girl to act like my daughter for a day for three years in a row now. Nothing seems to do it. Um, have you tried rescuing a puppy? You can't fuck puppies. At least you shouldn't. I'm drawing a blank there. Can't think of anything that might help. I wasn't expecting you to help me. Or to believe me. Eh? I could have been lying through my teeth this whole time. People lie, lady. Anyway, I'm leaving now. The smell is killing me. Please come again. Don't count on it. Good. Whew. Boss, I'm gonna take my break. All right. Let's say day one break <laughs> All right, while this is happening, I'm gonna get something to drink real fast. I got that thirst. That thirst. Could it is what I need? Let's get it. So, so far, this game seems like half visual novel, half papers, please. And I like that. So, let's get it. It sounds safe to keep playing. Yes, ma'am. Right. At least I didn't get locked up in this time. Hold on. Let me get something to drink, bro. Woo! All right. Ooh, shit. At least I didn't get locked up this time. Hmm. So out of all that music, let's go ahead and uh, reset some of this. Go ahead, put that on. Do not disturb. Okay. Let's get rid of some of this music. It's a new music. So every uh. Time to put some new music in. I like one of those songs specifically. So no, I don't think this was it. That's not it. <coughs> oh my God. That's not it. Ooh, I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Was it Yui Moto? Yumi Moto? I like that though. Let's throw that back in. Let's all systems go. Huh. <laughs> I 
think I heard any of these songs. That song is a jam right there. All right, let's try these. So Renee is gonna stay in here because I like that one. I like Yumi Moto too. So we'll keep that one there. Mmm. Okay, then back in action. Good evening. Good evening. Um, would you mind taking your helmet off? Oh, sorry. It's so comfortable. I usually forget I have it on. Is this better? Yeah, thank you. What can I get you, miss? Master Specialist Sei P. Asagiri of the 765th Division Valkyrie Corps at your service. Is this, uh... <laughs> Look, I watched a lot of Ava. Is that who that's supposed to be? <laughs> you know who I'm talking about. Yeah, I know. Sweet May. Alright, whatever. Wait, that's too long. Just call me Say. What can I give for you, Say? Let's see. I'm in the mood for a sweet drink. Oh, but not sweet as in cool. Although, a cool drink would be nice too. Um, but not cool as in great. And especially not as in big. More so since I have to get up early tomorrow, so I can't afford a hangover. Um, sorry, did you get that? A sweet drink, preferably a cold one, that's not too big, right? Yeah, that's it. I can do that. Give me a sec. Bye, there, sweet. An icy, huh? Girly drink. Fairy? No. Let's go back to Sweet Drinks. What about a Moon Blast? Oof, that's a lot of, a lot in there. Grandatini? Nah. Piano Woman? Oh my god, that's a lot of drink. Let's go back to Girly Drinks. <laughs> Fluffy Dream? Sunshine cloud. Bitter, girly, and soft. Nah, it's gotta be sweet. So sugar rush. Wait, wait, sweet drink. Sparkle star. Blue fairy. Try the moon blast seems to be the only one. Yeah, it seems like this one has a small amount of. This would be the one, I guess. do it it's got to be blended so just hold a little bit longer here you are ah yes it's just what I needed thanks you don't get many white knights as clients I can only remember one other in fact you said you're from the Valkyrie Corps right are you the guys who deal with riots and such riots oh no 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 you're thinking of Blitzkrieg Corps, the ones with huge plated suits, right? Yeah, those. No, we're different people. I mean, obviously we are different people, but we don't deal with the riots or anything. In fact, you could say we deal with their aftermath. How so? To rescue, heal, and protect. We are the angels who soothe those suffering enemy attack. We are the light of hope in the darkness of times. The ones who assist the victims of crime. We watch, we protect. Um, what was that? Sorry, it's sort of our pledge of allegiance. We recited every morning. 
What it means is that our duties mostly include rescuing civilians, healing the injured, and projecting and protecting them from stuff. Music is blazing, huh? <laughs> uh, what kind of stuff? Burglars, rapists, car crashes, anything that might happen on our watch. You mentioned heal. Are you a doctor then? Nah, I know many doctors, but I'm not one. I'm more of a paramedic. I treat people so they, they can arrive safely at a doctor. I'm also kind of a firefighter in that I sometimes rescue people from places. Damn, that must be a tough job. Sort of, but it is also really rewarding. I mean, I've yet to meet somebody that isn't glad to see me when I arrive. You must have seen some shocking sights. Yeah. This one time when I was saving some people from top of a collapsing building, I looked down and was blown away by how pretty the city was. It was like the starry sky on Earth. Oh, and there was this time when we were cleaning up the aftermath of a car crash. Water was pouring out of a hydrant. With the lights and scattered pieces of glass, it was almost, it was all almost dreamlike. That's not what I meant by shocking sights. No? But those are sights, and they're shocking, right? Yeah, but never mind. Wait, did I mishear you? And you actually meant size? I mean, sure. I've suffered the deepest, longest, and most frustrated size from people after everything's said and done, but don't worry, you, you didn't mishear. I guess I was expecting a different kind of answer. What kind of answer? Don't worry too much about it. You finished your drink. Can I get you anything else? Hmm, something classy. A classy drink. Can you be more specific? Don't make it too big. Does that work? Sorry, I don't come to bars very often. My drinks usually come in a can. No problem. Don't worry. A classy drink, right? Let's see what I can find for you. Something classy and not too big. Bad touch. Seems kind of big. Uh, seems like right. Cobalt Velvet. Oh my god. Oh my lord, that's a lot of that's not a lot of boobs. Frothy water. It's either the bad touch. Brandini it is. Even though that has a shitload of aldehyde or whatever that is. But it don't have a lot of blue. All these other drinks don't have way too much karma in it. The Brandatini has the least amount of booze in it. So we're going for that one. We're not trying to get her drunk. Not yet. <laughs> Alright, karma <laughs> I am aged and mixed. Here you are. Yep, this looks like something Stella would drink. Who? She's my dearest friend. Not that I don't have others, but she's the one I've known the longest. She likes those kind of these kind of drinks, so I wanted to see what's so special about them. And what do you think? I was expecting something stronger. I like it quite a bit. Say, Miss Bartender, what's your name? Hmm? You know my name, now I want to know yours. Uh, sure, just call me Jill. Jill? Hmm, chill. Chill is short for Jillian. No, that's not right. Jillian, Julian, Julian. Do not call me Julian, please. Julianne, please. <sighs> Sorry about that. No, please excuse me. I didn't want to anger you. Um, but why don't you like being called by your full name? It's a stupid reason. 
Don't dwell too much on that. Okay, I, I still feel bad about angering you, though. Why? But you look like a nice girl, Jill, and I don't like angering nice people. If it helps somehow, I really like this place. That actually helps. You're the first person to say something nice today. Thanks. What do you like about it? The smell of dog urine and soap! My mom used to be a veterinarian, and I used to go to her clinic after school, so the smell takes me back. It makes me feel comfy and nostalgic. <clears throat> what made you become a white knight instead of a vet veterinarian or anything else? Well, I was never a good student, so studying medicine or of any kind was out of the question. That aside, it's mostly because of something that happened while I was a kid. A white knight attacked my friend and was coming for me when this other white knight saved us. I don't remember what happened next. I just woke up in a hospital with my friend watching over me. I mean, it wasn't a prophetic, well, prophetic moment or anything like that, but ever since then I felt this was my calling. That I wanted to help people the same way they helped me. Huh? It's interesting though. One would think being attacked by a white knight would make you run the opposite direction. Yeah, but it was another one that saved me. So I kind of guide myself towards judging everything on an individual basis. Well, not to an extreme extent, but you get me. Yeah, I'll try to do the same too. Why join the Valkyrie Corps specifically though? Because I wanted to rescue people from dire situations whenever possible. And going into patrols and all that felt too tiresome. There's also the, there's also the one with the least paperwork involved. I don't think about it. There are different kinds of types of uh, white knights, right? I guess white knight is too broad a term. There's not one specific type. There are many different classes. Rescue, assault. There's even a squad full of bureaucrats. Really? Yeah, they get assigned to companies to handle the accounting and that kind of stuff. People usually ask for them because they speed up processes. But if you are assigned with a company, when a company is suspected of having weird under the table deals. Interesting. There was also a squad dedicated to fighting school bullying. They were doing a nice job, but the fad of anti-bullying campaigns passed and they lost their funding. I believe some members still work with the anti-bullying cases in an unofficial capacity. That, that'd be nice, I think. Can I get you anything else? I don't know if I should. I can't afford that many drinks and besides, I don't really know how much alcohol I could handle. Yeah, I can see that. Oh, you know what? I have something else. I remember some drink called a uh, martini? Brandini. No, I'm sure it's called a martini. It's Brandini, trust me. I'll get you one. What's a mart? Sorry, a Brandini. <laughs> they don't want to uh, get sued. Right? Want another one? That's what I gave her. It's the drink I gave her before, it didn't matter. Huh? Here, see? Huh? You were right. Thanks. You know what? I think I'll bring a friend of mine here in a couple of days. Really? Why? I like the feel of this place, and I want to share with her. It might be a bit difficult, though. She's more into, um, classier places. Not that this place isn't really nice. Is it nice, but, but don't worry. I know the kind of place I work in. I, I see. But it shouldn't be too bad. I just need to... What was that? Not like an explosion. I better check that. I paid you already, right? Yeah, go ahead. Be careful. I will. She left her helmet. Well, if she's coming back, I'll just hold it for her. I'll go check what the over, that, uh, the over, ever loving hell that explosion was. Careful. What? She woke up. Where, where am I? Where? Hi. Good evening and welcome to Valhalla. Valhalla. That might not have been the best thing to say. Valh Valhalla? Am I dead? Does that just mean that Uncle English family is about the afterlife looking like a shoddy downtown bar? Are true? Called it. Afterlife. I'm not dead? As far as I can tell, no. To be fair, I don't know how death or the afterlife work exactly, but you're breathing, right? 
All right, then where the hell am I? How did I get here? How did I get here? Who brought me here? What are you planning to do with me? Are you organ traffickers, robbers, rapists, pickpockets? You're pickpockets, aren't you? Why aren't you saying anything? I'm waiting for you to vent your worries. Otherwise, you'll just... You're a rapist, aren't you? Rapist! The whole lot of you! You want to tear my clothes, beat me unconscious, have your horrible way with me, and then brutally murder me, don't you? Oh, I'll stare, violating every hole in my body as I lay there twitching. Don't you? Murder, 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 Fluffy dream. Fluffy dream it is. Let's try that. <laughs> no drink for her, though. No booze. She don't deserve it. What is that? A drink. You're in a bar. Bar serves drink. Bar serves drinks. So I figured I should give you something to help you calm down. Don't worry, it's on the house. To calm down? What do you spice it with? Roofies? TTX? Pumpkins? C God, no. I wouldn't even think of it. Your stuttering makes you suspicious, you know. If I ever add anything like that to your drink, they dock my pay and tips. Not to mention, I'd have to pay any lawsuits myself. And that's the best case scenario. I could get fired and lose benefits or go to jail. And trust me, the BTC loves to catch anyone who commits that particular fel felony. <coughs> they show themselves all proud for a hefty PR boost. And the thought of going through all that is just... <sighs> Even if you say that, let's do something. If you go outside and head just three business businesses to the left, you'll find a convenience store. They sell drug tests for drinks. Tell the cashier that Dana Zane sent you. Hmm. Two flying cars crashed and went boom. That's why it was so noisy. Any damage? A hole in the street. Don't know about the drivers or anything. I see. Either way, I think I'm done here. Did you check the inside of the toilet paper's locker? What about... I oh my god! How? Oh, what? Ow! I'm back. He tried to give me bandages at first though. Do you have to pay? No. No problem then. Try it on the drink. 
says a negative. There you go. But you could be in cahoots with the clerk in the story. He even knew your name. <coughs> Good point. But well, first of all, it's not my name. It's my boss. Second, we are pretty much part of a chain. So like the spicy chicken of bars. And finally, I'm not making you drink this. And I'm not making you drink this. I offer it to you as a sign of peace. I mean, you are right. It is indeed suspicious on my part. Sorry. You can just ignore the drink, go through the door, and forget this ever happened. That would be it. You're at peace and nothing of value would be lost. Are you implying something won't have value because I ignored it? Are you saying my presence is so unimportant that my lack of action will yield no difference? Eh? And what about the drink? Are you going to let this fruit of your work go to waste so easily? No, I... Well, I'll let you know I'm not that unimportant and that your drink does matter. Um... I'm not sure you should drink it all so fast. So how was it? Hmm, it was fine, but not something I'd order normally. Are you alright? Yeah, I guess you were telling the truth. Sorry about that. No problem. If I were you, I'd have probably reacted the same way. I should apologize for my last comment too. It came out as insensitive. I guess I'll stay for a while. Let me get my thoughts in order. Can you tell me how I got here? My boss found you unconscious and brought you here for safekeeping. And you were asleep until that car ca car crash outside. I, I see. I guess it's better to wake up here than on the streets stripped of clothes, digging dignity and organs. And or organs. How did you fall unconscious? Were you tired? Sick? I guess I'm sick, but I'd rather not talk about it. Of course. I'll tell you what. Your drinks are on the house tonight. Why would you do that? Consider an apology on behalf of everyone here for all the trouble we've cost you. Also, something tells me you might need another drink right now. It, you might be right. Okay, then I'll take you up on your offer. I have a piano, man. Will you be fine? Yeah, I just got the last one, so I want to enjoy this one. Coming right up, then. We didn't put any alcohol in that one. She, we was giving out free drinks. That's for a piano man. You don't see no woman asking for a piano man every day. Piano man, piano man. <laughs> I don't know why I'm just humming, evil woman. Oh my god, that's so much stuff in this drink. This is gonna be a big drink. Here. Yeah, this is the one. My dad used to drink these before an actual pianist attempted to kill him. What did he do, your dad? I mean, to provoke the pianist like that. Wrong place at the wrong time, I guess. He was relaxing in the bar when suddenly the pianist leapt off the stage and started punching him. Some say he was off his meds and that my dad looked like this, like some music critic that had bashed him. I still hold my stance that he just got too excited. Jazz does that to you. I see. The piano man has an interesting story. It was originally created by a bartender in honor of a pianist friend of his that had just died. Apparently, it mixes all the flavors said friend liked the most. Oh, that's nice. So this is how it feels to go for a drink at the end of a long, hard day at work. I'm not sure if I like the fact that I'm falling into that. What do you work, miss? Call me Kim. I don't know if I can say I work yet, though I'm still just an intern. Can I ask where? Have you heard of a newspaper called The Augmented Eye? I read it, I read it every morning. In fact, Donovan D. Dawson was here earlier. I knew I smelled his nasty cologne. That bastard leaves his reek wherever he goes. So, you believe me? I do. God, you have no idea how much I hate that chauvinistic horse blower. <laughs> Harsh words. The worst part is that I kind of admire the way he does stuff. He's so forceful about the things he wants that people have it done before they realize what's going on. He even got a pizza delivery boy to work server maintenance. A full week passed before the pizza shop asked where the hell he was. And would you believe it? The guy became, a de became decent at server maintenance despite having no previous experience. It's kind of admirable, but at the same time, I hate his guts. Ugh. Knowing that I have to work for him, it's... Ugh. Why are you working here, then? Did I ask something I shouldn't have? No, don't fret about it. I'd rather not talk about it, though. 
Fair enough. What's your name, bartender? Call me Jill. Is it hard to be a bartender, Jill? I guess it's as hard as being a cook somewhere. Keep going through the motions while trying to provide something of quality. All while answering the whimsy of people's orders. I think the hardest part is dealing with the chemical hazards some people might leave behind. Why? At one point, I thought about being a bartender, but I was afraid they'd make me wear skimpy clothes and dance or something. Here we go again. Well, it depends on where you start working, you know? I guess I was lucky Valhalla didn't end up being a tacky disco overseen by a DJ with an afro. My boss just wanted a comfy place, I think. Your boss sounds like an interesting person. What with wanting to put me somewhere safe and all that. She is. She's so cool and collected, but has no qualms about showing excitement about stuff. Sure, she's been a bit tense the last couple of days. But even then, when you're with her, everything just feels under control. She also has this mechanical arm. I have no idea how she got it, but... Heh. Sorry, I got, I got carried away. It's fun to see you break the wise bartender character you're, you're using here. I do that? It'd be nice to meet this boss of yours sometime and thank her. Shall I call her? She'd be glad to know you're okay. Oh no, I shouldn't pester her that way. And besides, it's getting late and I don't want to be uh, to abuse your generosity. You can ask for another one, although I don't even know how much alcohol you can handle. I think I, ha I, think I can handle another drink. Run Brantini, please. Coming right up. Oh, she wants a brand. I'm mean, sorry, a Mark. Ah, a Brantini. Yeah, that. Why not a Martini? I still want to get sued. Huh? <laughs> I really wish you could just kind of add the blips to the dragon. So six out of high, three and one. Martini, aged and mixed. Here. Yep, that seems like the stuff. Cheers! Hey, Jill. Was this job like a lifelong dream or something? Not really. It just kind of happened. One thing led to another and BAM! Bartending. Do you regret not fulfilling a dream? The only dream I can remember being passionate about was, bu was buying a Model Warrior Julianne arcade machine. Can't say I've given up on that one yet, but alas, adult stuff needs to be paid for first. You've never had a dream you wanted to chase? Not really. I mean, most of my dreams have been silly things or childish dreams. Childish dreams? Having a room where every piece of furniture talks and being a model warrior. Oh, childish dreams. Yeah. I remember I wanted to live in a koi pond when I was seven. The fish seemed to be having a blast to me. So no dreams? None that I felt particularly motivated to chase, no. I mean, I'm fascinated by AIs, but I just couldn't find it in me to study that. So I picked something I found nice and moved on. And somewhere along the way, I became a bartender. I see. Finally! Those dogs left a mess. I'm not gonna forget any time soon. I mean, how the hell did they throw toilet paper out the window? Oh, a client. Good evening. Good night, ma'am. Jill, I'm gonna leave early. I need to carry the smell clinging to my body. Sure. Um, who is he? A ghost. Nobody you should worry about. Oh, I heard that. Why are you asking all those questions? Because now that I think about it, I don't really have a dream job or anything like that. I think we idealize the idea of a dream job too much. Not everyone walks around with a clear idea of what they want in life. Some take a liking to a job, others find it after many failed attempts. Sometimes life takes an unexpected turn that makes you change your plans. What I mean is, don't worry too much. Maybe you're right. Well, I'm going to take my leave now. Thank you for everything. Please thank your boss on my behalf. Bye! Thank you. Come again. And that's it. Are we done for tonight? Seems like it. Where's Gil? And where's the girl that was here? Gil cleaned the bathroom and left because he stank. Kim woke up and had a few drinks, a couple of drinks and left. So she's called Kim. How did she look to you? How was she? She's freaked out when she woke up, but she managed to calm down. Are you worried about her? Wouldn't you be? 
I don't know. Hey, boss, do you feel like calling bosses too impersonal? Hmm, not really, no. It's not like you call me that because I'm a stranger. It's just out of habit. Oh. Anyway, you're free to go after you're, fi after you're finished washing up the glasses. Let me transfer you today's payment. Maybe I'll give Gil a small bonus for dealing with the bathroom. Here's an extra for helping calm that girl down. $2,000? Shit! I'm about to go be a bartender right now. <laughs> nah, it must be uh, inflation, <laughs> super inflation for the future. $800, shit. What would the inflation for that be? She would be making two hundred dollars, maybe. Right, right. Cause she paying some subscription that's only that's eight hundred bucks, which I'm assuming is probably like eighty bucks. Make sure your account is at least eight hundred dollars by then. She was lost in thought about a hollow plan. Buying it will prevent her from be getting too distracted. You can now browse Danger You. All right. You can buy stuff. Let's see what's going on. I'm going to buy something. And then I'm going to stop playing. But I want to say this is an intriguing game. It's very visual novel-esque. And it's, it's fun. I like it. It's, it's great fun. I like that it has a paper please. And it's a visual novel to it. So it's fun. Almost might make some people become a bartender. <laughs> if you're into talking to people for like a lot. Not as sentient, but just as cute. She says you wanted a Julianne, right? It's the PC9S, Vintage Gaming. Experience all the cumbersome low times they were meant to be. Joker Cyclone, Hollow Plant. Feels you with fanaticism. Soldier, shoulder massager? For those days where you build up too much tension. Mulan tea, covered in tea based liquor. It tastes like green tea and kicks like whiskey. My neck and neck up. Cute play houses. Kiramiki, a cold tear one off any wall in the vicinity, but hell, those joints are high. Cutesy game poster, sort of cartridges. Cracked out Luma. Mega Christmas tree. The bastardized commercial version of an already bastardized celebration. Not as sentient, but just as cute. All right. I don't want to hear this. Oh, get her a hollow plant. Apparently, I have to get her a hollow plant. There you go. Jill bought what she wanted and she's pleased with herself. She was surely focused at work. Is that the hollow plant? Ooh, hollow plant. All right, well, I bought something and uh, that was fun. I'm going to play a little bit more later. I want to thank you guys that came by and watched on the stream and all my people on YouTube, mad respect, mad love. This is Geek Citadel signing out. Peace.